And we're burning it. Are we live now? Yeah, we're live again. Okay, so good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. This is Twist Gaming, where you get to play board games with us. I, I almost got you on that. Yeah, yeah, it's almost like this is my <laughs> second, uh, third time trying to do so that. There you go. Uh, this is our honest review section, where we like to talk about the game that we just spotlighted, and in this case, that is Loot and Recruit, currently live on Kickstarter. That's by Vile Genius Games. Uh, we just did the spotlight. If you are watching on video on demand, go check that out if you're interested. It was a ton of fun. Uh, so first, who are we? I'm Matt, and I'm joined with... I'm Peter. I'm Josh. And this stream and all of this week's streams are sponsored by Loot and Recruit by Vile Genius Games, so big shout out to them. So first we want to talk about what we liked about the game. So, Peter, I'm not going to put you on the spot. Usually we do winners first, but uh, we're, we're going to go in first here. Okay. So what I liked about the game, it's, it's a very fun, light deck building game. Um, I feel like a lot of deck builders can get kind of bogged down with a lot of stuff going on. Uh, it definitely doesn't have that problem. It definitely plays really light. Very easy to pick up, too. It's, it's simple. Yeah. Uh, that's, you know, it's, it's good with that. I like the different, uh, the morning, afternoon, or morning, day, and night cards that added a little bit of variability to the individual round, so it changes it up. Um, we did have a lot in there that were passed back to the player on the left, and there's other ones coming out, so... You know, that's that's definitely going to add some more to the game. Uh, that just happens to be what we had with our playthrough. Um, I like the artwork on the game a lot, too, actually. It's pretty cool. I wish that we had more of the finished artwork, but again, it's it's early prototyping of it. So, see the cute little goblin on the catapult. I know that's Mark's favorite card. He was telling me before. <laughs> Who knows why? Uh, so, Josh, what do you have to say about it? Um, it was a good, fun light deck builder um, and the player interaction is a lot higher than your typical deck builder yeah especially like when you're playing Dominion the most that you do is like oh I play a thief and I might steal gold from you or like there isn't a lot of player interaction it's just like no I'm taking away all your points right now yeah and I hate you um, though me and Peter played the second game a lot differently <laughs> we were like we're pacifists it just like, like hey, food. look we're just trying to build powers <laughs> And we're like, oh, we locked out my tower. We'll just build a bigger one. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it actually kind of worked pretty well. Yeah, at least in that game. Um, I'm actually surprised I kept up with you on that one. I tried to that game go for a lot more higher defense cards uh, that I could afford. Of course, yeah. I can't afford the same cards you guys are able to afford. Uh, but that mixed with some light attacking. Yeah, you know. So it, it's an interesting deck builder. It gives you you get your point value through towers that you have to, to defend. Just I'm trying to describe the game slightly for people just watching review. Mm -hmm. And then you have your goblin cards that you can buy that can do different actions. So those are your trash cards and your switch things up or scavenge for cards. And then you have some extra loot and recruit cards that have more power. Just more power. Like the mount of mountain of gold. Yeah, the mountain of gold and stuff. Just just your more your stronger buy cards. Right. Um, and, and that you can all buy. And then there's a couple generic cards that you can get. So... Um, it had the basic deck builder cards in there. It had that same kind of feel. So if you know deck builders, you know this. And then it adds that little bit of competitive. So if you want a more competitive deck builder, this works. Um, I liked, going back to me for a second, I really liked the, the breakdown of the three different scoring phases there. Just because it makes it so that, you know, you're not... You can't just, fall behind, like, at right. the end of the game yeah. because you just get destroyed. And, like, everyone gangs up on you in the last turn, and all of a sudden you go to zero points, and <laughs> everything you've done the entire game is for naught. Yeah. And it allows you to, to possibly aggro really quick, quickly, like you did in that game. We thought you were going to run away with it, just yeah, because your first round was absolutely ridiculous. It was. Yeah, my first round was crazy. But, yeah, no. Um, so, thinking of this, I'm thinking of... Uh, I just lost my mind. This deck builder Renegade just put out. The dungeon crawl. We'll get back to that. You'll, you'll, it'll pop back into your yeah, head. You've got the yeah. internet at your fingertips. It, it lost my mind for a second. Uh, it reminds me of that game where it, it, there is some player conflict, but this is a little bit more direct, where that one, you're kind of rushing to get treasure and out. Mm -hmm. And your screw over mechanics, like, I'm just going to beat you guys out, and then you guys are going to, like, if you don't get out quick enough, you lose. Mm -hmm. So it, it changes up that mechanic a little bit. Um, so, yeah, no, it, it's a, it was a fun, and it wasn't. How long did the second game take us? 
We started at nine. We started at like nine thirty. The yeah. second game, so it took us about forty five minutes. Yeah, forty five minutes, and then we were streaming it, so that's always a yeah. It always smart. it always bogs down. If any of you aren't familiar, <laughs> whenever we do our playthroughs, it tends to be bogged down by like almost 50, you know fifty percent extra, maybe even double the time. To uh, oh, and Panda, thank you, Clank. That that the Clank is the game <laughs> I'm thinking of. There you go. Um, it just this similar player interaction a little bit mm -hmm. with Clank, but it, it, they're two totally different games. Um, so yes, yeah, it, it was a quick game, mm -hmm. and as, once you get it down, it would be much quicker. Yeah, and I can definitely feel us speeding up even right. further and further along. So Peter, how about you? Uh. I really liked the game. I liked how light and quick it felt, especially compared to other deck builders. Um, one of the things that helped with that, I think, were the mechanics. There was no way to set up your deck so you cycled it every turn. That meant someone at most played six, maybe seven cards in a round, yeah. so that kept it quick. Um, and even though it's direct conflict with killing the other per uh, person's tower so they don't get future points, there's no cards that like eliminate options for a player to do, so it's not that kind of frustrating, which yeah. uh, is what really gets my goat when I play deck builders. Yeah, it's not like you can't play more cards, it's just like, oh, the points I got before. Right. Now. And since there's a tier of it, all right, I already collected points for those, it's not horrible that I lost them. Right. And because of that, there's also no like real runaway player because they just got in all the cards they need, then they cycle their deck every turn, and so they're going to win. And you can tell like half an hour before the game was over because, it like you said, it looked like Josh was going to win, but then it wasn't. I managed to eke it out because you guys kind of ganged up on him. Yeah, right exactly. All, all right. So, is there anything else you guys want to touch on before we move on? Or anything from you? Uh, I think we, you guys covered anything else I would have okay. added. Okay, so in this part we like to talk about, and it kind of gets married with the, the final part there, um, what wasn't our favorite parts of the game, but what we would do to change the game if we had the opportunity. So basically, this wasn't my favorite, but if I could, I'd maybe do this instead. Mm -hmm. uh, so Josh, I'm going to put you on the spot this time. Um, so we had our basic deck builder here. I just felt two mechanics kind of missing is trashing cards. I didn't like I did it, but you weren't cycling through your deck enough and you couldn't do it fast enough, I felt, that it meant anything. Mm -hmm. Like I trashed three cards out of the game, it really didn't help much. It, 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 it's a normal mechanic, but in the game it just felt like it didn't wasn't powerful enough for what it was. Um where like the scavenger was like super powerful if you had a discard pile and you had a big discard pile, but like yeah. I happen to get my scavenger every time I drew a new hand mm -hmm. from a freshly. Yeah, it's the so worst I was like, time I'm drawing. It, yeah. At least it was still draw a card. Um, I would have liked a little bit more draw power. That's what I was thinking. Uh, that's what I was thinking about what you were saying about not being able to cycle through your deck. There's not a ton of uh, draw mechanics in the yeah. actual cards that you can get, and I think that lends itself to it being a little bit lighter of a deck builder as well. Yeah. And having a set number of turns as opposed to uh, an end goal where you can basically progressively ramp up so the game gets faster and faster. I, I wouldn't mind like a plus two though. Like if there was just a, it, that, that one I don't think would have made it too difficult but a plus two draw would have been on a few cards made it, made it, made it a little bit so the, the scavenger was powerful enough as it was mm -hmm. but some of the other ones of like the blacksmith trash a card and mm -hmm. then you draw a new one like I hope I get a better card if it was maybe draw two then at least that trash mechanic had a little bit of a purpose that round more but that was a minor thing of just making a little bit more use of deck builders that I'm used to and seeing how, how they react to everything. Um, let's see, my end of things. <clears throat> so we have the cards that are plus two, or I'm sorry, plus one and then plus three. And then it goes up to plus five after that, right? Doesn't it? I'm, I'm trying so, to think if that's usual, if it's usually plus one, plus three, or plus six or seven. I, I can't think of that off the top of my head. For deck builders, yeah. usually I think it ranges from like one to five. Okay. Um, the attack cards. I don't know. I feel like I wish that there was... So there's the cannon. Maybe it's just because Mark was stealing all the attacks. <laughs> Um, maybe a different attack uh -oh. card. 
maybe a different attack card in there as well. Um, I did like the attack mechanic, though. I, I really did enjoy that. The fact that it also has the, the different defenses. So if you have a weak defense at the base, it makes it prone to being attacked more. Uh, nothing that I could really point at and be like, I really don't like this about the game. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm just going to be a little nitpicky here, just so I, I don't say pass. Um, so something that I think would have been a cool addition, let me just say that. I, I, you have three set slots to build your towers. Maybe if there was an ability card in there, a that goblet gives you that, a that gives you a fourth slot or yeah. something like that. I, thought, I think that might have been pretty interesting just because mm -hmm. it puts up more targets so you can't defend them as easily, but something to that effect. Other than that, I, I really enjoyed it. So how about you, <clears throat> So, uh, I, I guess I really enjoyed the game. I don't have actually a lot of fault with the game. Um, probably the two things I would like to see or would maybe make the game more interesting as we already covered is uh, different, more varied effects for the day cards. Because in the end, they all kind of draw a card or plus one buy, plus one recruit. Mm -hmm. Um, you could maybe use that to make the game a little crazier. Maybe even have one that uh, reduces your uh, buy or right. loot for a round or your recruit for a round. Right. Uh, something to make it a little crazier. Um, and then on what you sort of said, was I noticed between the goblins that came out for uh, the loot by there, I didn't feel a lot of their effects were very different. So I'd like to see maybe more goblins with more varied effects. Mm -hmm. Like one of them is create a new uh, tower. Um, I don't know. Maybe some other goblins. Or, or actually, that'd be interesting. If some of the tower goblins had power, so they'd be a higher recruit cost, but lower defense and points as a result, maybe. But mm -hmm. that might be messing with the mechanics too much. That might be an interesting concept. But yeah, the, the mechanics of the game and the way it's designed definitely lends itself to open for a lot of possibilities right. in the future, which is pretty exciting as well. So hopefully it, uh, it funds well over the goal and we can see some more stuff in the future, possibly. Wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so anything else that you guys would change given the opportunity or anything else you want to point out? Okay, so now it's time for the most important question. Would you play it again? So Josh, how about you? Yeah, no, um, this is a fun light deck builder that I would definitely play again. Abs it's an absolutely for me. I mean, I, I like deck building games. Um, I'm not particularly great at them. Uh, I don't have a ton of experience with them. So I, I played Dominion a few times with Josh and I think one of the problems that I have with that is it seems a little on the heavier side. So I kind of shy away from it. And this is definitely a lot lighter and it'd be fun to just bust out at a moment's notice to play it. So I'm gonna say yes for that. Uh, I like deck builders as well, but I usually get frustrated by the like really hardcore competitive part, but I really enjoyed this, and I would definitely play it again. Awesome. So that's that's three thumbs up, or six thumbs up. It's thumbs up all across the board. <laughs> so thank you all for joining us. There we go. Extra <laughs> thumbs. Thank you all for joining us this evening. This was our honest review section of our spotlight of Loot and Recruit by Vile Genius Games. Thank you all for joining us. Uh, and as a reminder, this stream and all of this week's streams are sponsored by Loot and Recruit by Vile Genius Games. So Twist Gaming is signing off for the evening. I'm Matt, joined here with... I'm Peter. I'm Josh. Good night, everyone, and thank you for joining us. Good night. Good night.